Hi, welcome to Calico Flower Studio. I'm Danny, and this is Dahlia. And today I'm making a collage in my new space. Um, I'm gonna be working in my visual journal and just sharing some thoughts with you about anxiety and especially as it pertains to routines and rituals and just showing up. So thank you for showing up. Just sit back and relax and enjoy. Welcome and Happy New Year. It is January 2023 as I'm filming this, so it's a new year and I am in a completely new place, which is kind of awesome. I have to admit that after the new year and really just after the holiday season, <laughs> that alone is enough to kind of like shake someone and rattle their routine a little bit. On top of that, I also had the privilege of visiting my family in Ohio, so I was traveling, and then Nick and I moved into a new apartment, like days after the new year so <laughs> it's been kind of a wild ride and i'm not sure if i've told you this already but um, i may have mentioned it but i am a creature of routine like routine and ritual are super important to me and they really keep me grounded and uprooting our lives and um, moving to a new space definitely rattled me a little bit um, especially when it came to my creative practice because it's so much of, it is kind of a ritual to me. I need to have the right space and the right mindset. Other things in my life have to like align. I think the, that, ha that really feeds into my mindset a lot is just kind of like, what is going on in my orbit, you know? <laughs> But um, I also recognize that that is kind of a weakness of mine. And so it can be difficult for me to get myself to jump back in. This video right now, as I'm sitting here, is um, me attempting to jump back into um, this practice. So here we are. You're gonna witness it all, um, so I'm, tr I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna try to uh, think too thoroughly, although it might happen. But I'm not going to place that expectation on myself. This is really just um, an accountability video. It's like a showing up, you know, because. If you don't show up, it's not getting done. That's, I mean, that's like the biggest hurdle is just showing up. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and I'm really excited because I have this new lamp and I have all this space on my table. Maybe we will be blessed by the presence of a furry animal later. I don't know, we'll see. Um, let's get started. Enough talking. Let's just sh sh jump in. <laughs> um, what I've brought here today, I brought materials that um, I was drawn to. And I think that like right now, um, as I'm decorating my new home, um, something that's been on my mind a lot lately is textures. Um, textures are I'm, I'm becoming mindful of texture as a design element lately so um, as I was looking through materials I was drawn to various textures like this is um, some papers this is from an old collage but these are papers that were uh, block printed and the ink has like a really um, rough and yeah, just like a really rough texture because I used 
I think it was foam core to create these prints. I used foam core as the stamp. So the ink came out really rough and I, I like that texture. And same thing with this, it got really gumpy, gunk, gunky. Um, this is paper with that uh, was stamped with block printing ink. Really neat texture. This texture is just colored pencil, but I love the way the colored pencil overlaps to create various colors. This is an envelope that is kind of like a cold press watercolor paper. And then of course there is a stamp on it, which is a textural element and the USPS stamp. Another printed piece of paper, block printed. A lot of prints here. This is um, also block printing ink on a palette, a sheet of palette paper. This is tissue paper layered on paint, on colored pencil. This is just a whole like um, build up of materials, <laughs> but very textured, very thick. And this is more colored pencil on paper. And this is watercolor paper with a little bit of watercolor, but it's very light. The variation in the color is very subtle and I was very attracted, I was attracted to that. And the edges here, this textured torn edge. Y'all know I love torn edges. I love to rip things. This is acrylic on paper that was um, folded and so uh, kind of like when you're making like an ink blot or a um, a symmetrical design, I poured paint onto a piece of watercolor paper on one side and then folded the paper in half. And then when I opened it up, it had this symmetrical design, but the paint was so thick that it left behind these um, these beautiful lines. I mean, it's just like happy accident. Hello. This is oil paint on paper from an old color chart that I made in college. Colored pencil on paper. Oh yeah, and I, I don't know if you can tell how textured this is, but it is like thick. This is watercolor paper with watercolor and chalk pastel, I believe. And then something on the other side, of course, because I'm always reusing paper. This is, okay, block printed tissue paper glued onto paper. This is from an old painting on paper um, from 2010. This is just a piece of it, it's been torn, of course more watercolor on watercolor paper. Torn edge. You can hear all the new sounds of my neighborhood. <laughs> um, this is paper towel with paint on it. Watercolor on paper. And um, this is a piece of an old collage that, yeah, was cut up and repurposed, but um, this is just a hunk that I found, but this particular piece has this painted paper towel, which has a really rough texture. Interesting. Anyway, so that's what I brought. Let's get started. I don't know what color page I want to use. Um, but I'm not, uh, like I said, I am going to just show up today. You know, like this is so 
as soon as I had this two page spread open and I saw this piece out of the corner of my eye, I said, that needs to go there because that is striking. And look, here's um, along the side is um, marks that were made on another piece of paper or another page, I mean. Oh, <laughs> it was this page, see? How everything sort of spilled off. And now it's part of this story. They all connect to one another. They're, they're bound, <laughs> literally and figuratively. I've got my plate for my glue, paper towel to dab my brush, my old crappy brush that I use for glue, um, this jar from a <laughs> Rouse pasta sauce. I have literally, I've used this jar in every single YouTube video, so you, you've seen this before, I guarantee it. I've got my journal that I made from upcycled envelopes. Um, and this is a new member of the plant family. And I don't know the name of this off the top of my head. I knew it last night, but you know how it is. Things go, just fall out of your brain. All right. Let's see. In the spirit of simply showing up, I am going to just start. You know, um, I was just talking to a friend earlier today and kind of, um, commiserating about the, uh, well, not commiserating, I should say, but just sort of um, connecting on our shared experience of the holiday season and how stressful and chaotic it can be sometimes. And then, you know, we go home or, you know, maybe we're uh, fortunate enough to get to travel and see family and we both were and um, so there's that, but basically at the end of the year, it's just not a normal time of year, you know, <laughs> there's a ton, there's all these holidays and special events happening and, um, there's travel going on and then it's the end of the year. So people, um, businesses kind of, uh, have all their end of year stuff that they have to do. Um, projects are finishing up, um, reports have to be collected. Oh my gosh, it's just like bleh. <laughs> um, but uh, then after the new year, you know, we're all super reflective and we, we're looking back on the year as a whole and thinking about the year ahead and it's like okay let's get back to it back to the routine and um like i mentioned earlier i am such a creature of habit i am a uh i am i that's the most taurus thing about me because i was born in may the most Taurus thing about me is that I am so um, I have I struggle with change and routine so when it's not that I don't like change that's not true it's just I mean I love changing things up but when it comes to routine it's not it's not that I am averse to it I just um, am impacted by it a lot in a personal way so um it can be kind of uh it can make me a little anxious sometimes and i have i have tools to cope with it so it's you know this is something i am aware of about myself so um i deal with it it's just a reality 
being me and probably being human. I'm sure there's someone out there who's thinking, yup, that's me. <laughs> me too. But, um, anyway, so just getting back into the swing of things is what I was talking about with my friend today. Um, it makes, it, it's like this feeling of, um, I would describe it, because I was feeling it this morning, I would describe it as like, this underlying feeling that something is wrong, you know, something, something, ain't, something ain't right. But, but everything's fine. Everything's okay. You know, you carry on. Um, and you have to rem like. It's almost like a visceral reaction, and so it's not informed by facts <laughs> or uh, anything outside of your own mind. I think it's just maybe this lack of routine that um, is throwing off your, it's throwing off my uh, balance. So there's my body says, be afraid, feel anxious. But then I have to remember, wait a minute, everything's great, life is good. All of these different parts of us, we have to learn to understand we want to find peace. None of these things are connecting yet. But that's okay. I haven't cut or ripped anything yet. I'm just putting everything down as it is. You know, when I say I'm such a person, I'm such a creature of habit or, um, you know, ruled by routine, one may hear that and think, how boring, right? It's not simply a human creation. The whole world, the whole universe runs on routines. everything. The cats certainly do. They really depend on routine. If their routine is disrupted, it's, whew, it's rough. They are very um, good at adapting to change though. Well, I think that Nick and I make it as easy as possible for them because we understand how important the ritual is. <laughs> but, um, or the routine, I should say. There's some ritual to it, for sure, but. I'm lingering here. I think I should just place this piece. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, and that's just, I've said this before and I'll say it again, like life is cyclical, which means it is a series of cycles, endless cycles, like a washing machine. <laughs> the laundry's never done, am I right? This one got a little goopy, but that's okay. Life's messy, what you gonna do?
I like these two pieces because I, um, I like the, the negative space and how I'm using it on this page to create a, a shape. And when I say negative space, I mean the um, part of the object that has been removed or that's not there. You know, it's, it's negative space <laughs> because there's nothing there. So like my fingers are positive space and the space between my fingers is negative space, if that makes sense. These pieces, there's a lot of weird negative space that happens in my scraps because um, they're scraps, right? I used them for something else, you know, I cut out of them and, um, and then whatever is left over is left with the, the shape of that whatever was cut out. So like this piece had this sort of arch uh, negative space reminds me of like a door or a window and then this had another a rectangle cut out of it which is like another door wow what is this place it's like some kind of wonderland I'm gonna cut this off I'm just gonna leave a little bit hanging off the edge. Breaking the boundary. This has some angled lines in it as well. I mean, just the shape of it has an angled line, you know, this torn edge going down this way. But then these lines are going in a diagonal. And then there's um, an untexture going in the opposite direction. So we have a lot of this and this and this and this um, sort of cascading. I showed up today. So did you. Thank you for showing up and being here with me. Um, even though, you know, I did all the work. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe you made some art too. Or this is your way of practicing self-care and relaxation and contemplation. And those are definitely, that is definitely time well spent, I would say. So, good for you. And I mean that. Well, I'm gonna leave it at this. Um, but I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I um, will see you next time. And thank you so much again for being here. And have a great day. Thanks. Clover and Dahlia were this whole time. That's where Dahlia was. I don't know where Clover was, but she is really enjoying our new bed. Hello. We missed you. But that's okay. You look so cozy. Yes, you look cozy. You're cozy. All right. Maybe next time. Okay, bye.